champions have just been confirmed to be coming in the very next Clash Royale update. Hey guys, that's right here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, we're skipping the intro, let's get right into the good stuff. But be sure to subscribe and use code LEGENDARY in the shop. So let's start off by breaking down these champions. The champions will be a new card rarity that will be unlocked once you reach king level 14. These champions are going to be very, very special. In fact, you can only have one champion in a deck at any given time. In addition, you can also only have one champion alive on the battlefield at once. You can see here that I have a champion on the field. I'm cycling so many cards, but alas, I do have to wait for that champion to die before I can play another one. Now here is the kicker. In addition to the base elixir cost that it takes to deploy the champion, each champion also has a special ability that can be activated with elixir as well. These abilities have a cooldown, so if your hero survives long enough, you can actually use the ability multiple times in a row. To start, there will be three champions, the Skeleton King, the Golden Knight, and the Archer Queen. The Skeleton King is a four elixir card, slightly tankier than the bowler and does a similar splash attack to a dark prince. It collects the souls of all enemy troops that die while he is on the field, and a 2 elixir ability will bring them all back from the dead. You can see in the gameplay in the background, as enemy troops are dying, their souls are being collected by the Skeleton King, and then as I activate the ability, skeletons will begin spawning like a graveyard around the Skeleton King himself. Secondly, we have the Golden Knight, which is another 4 elixir card with about the same hit points as the bowler and does about the same amount of damage as a regular knight. This guy has a 1 elixir dash ability that chain attacks up to 10 enemies up to 6 tiles away. You can see on screen right now that once you actually master the ability, he is going to be so so effective at just running through a ton of medium to low HP units. Lastly, we have the Archer Queen, who is a 5 elixir card that's about as tanky as an Electro Dragon and does slightly more damage than a Musketeer. This card has a 1 elixir ability that turns her invisible for a short period of time and doubles her attack speed. And trust me, her damage is actually insane, as you will see later in this video. I'm going to be showcasing some of my first matches playing with these heroes later in this episode, and trust me, you're going to want to see this. These cards, just like any other card, you're going to need to collect copies of it and upgrade them with your gold. Don't worry, however, as their drop rates will be about the same as legendary cards are currently. And as a quick side note, legendary cards will be dropping much more frequently as well. Now, there are many ways to get your hands on these heroes once the update drops. The first is obviously if you're at King level 14, where you can unlock them from chests. Furthermore, Clash Royale is introducing a new level up chest that each player will gain once they reach a higher level. Once you reach level 14, that chest is guaranteed to give you a champion. So those of you that are going to be level 14 once the update comes out, you're going to automatically get a champion in your card collection. In addition, the free track of Pass Royale also has a new chest called a Royal Wild Chest, which also guarantees a champion when you're at level 14. However, if you aren't at level 14, there are still lots of opportunities for you to play the champions through in-game challenges. First off, after the update, there will be events throughout the month that will allow all players king level 8 and above to experiment with these champions. But wait, there's more. Global tournaments, classic challenges, and grand challenges will now have a new deck builder where any player king level 8 and above will be able to build a deck using any card, including these champions. So again, if you're king level 8 and above, you'll be able to play these heroes as much as you want in these global tournaments and in these challenges. With heroes now starting at level 11, this does mean that the new tournament standard cap will also be raised to level 11. Don't worry, however, because all tournament cap events will automatically supply level 11 cards for you, so these events will be all about skill and not about levels. 
That being said, King level 14 is coming to the game along with level 14 cards. To compensate for the additional resources that you're gonna have to save up, Supercell is decreasing the card and gold requirements for levels 11, 12, and 13. On the screen right now are the new reduced cost requirements. And on screen right now are the new reduced gold requirements. Pause the video if you would like to take a closer look. On the upper left, there is now a King's Journey tab where you can unlock a level up chest every time you reach a new player level. Again, at level 14, you are guaranteed a champion from this chest. And when the update drops, you will be able to open all of the level up chests from previous levels as well. So don't worry about losing out on any of those resources. In addition to compensate for a recent controversy in Slash Royale, Supercell is giving away free cards once the update drops. If a card is level 11 and is an epic card, you will be getting 10 copies added for free. If a card is level 12, you will get 500 common cards, 300 rare cards, 60 epic cards, and 4 legendaries. Finally, if a card is level 13, you will get 2,500 commons, 550 rares, 160 epics, and 14 legendaries. At level 13, that means every single one of your level 13 cards will automatically be halfway to level 14 already. Lastly, star points are also getting a slight rework. Star points will now be unlocked at level 6, and you'll be able to get these star points from donating and upgrading cards. A level 7 card will now be eligible for star level 1, a level 10 card will be eligible for star level 2, and level 13 cards will be eligible for star level 3 if a star level is available. The star level upgrade cost is also being reduced for star levels 1 and 2, so you know, even more star levels for everybody. So there we go, the three main features coming in the next Clash Royale update. Champions, level 14, and a star level rework. And now, what we've all been waiting for, the hero gameplay. Before we do get into this, however, I want to give a huge thanks to Clash Art for playing these games with me. He posts videos, I believe, in Russian, so be sure to check him out if that's your thing. But anyways, Let's get right into the gameplay. I'm going to try out the Skeleton King as just a tank. Um, so I'm going to be playing him in a Sparky deck here. And uh, let's see how this goes. Um, or it might be Expo. Is he running Expo? Bro, he might be running Expo. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to have to save my tanks here. Okay, no, it's um, it's a Hog Cycle deck. I wonder what hero he's running. Okay, good fireball there. And uh, I think it's time It's time to go in with the the big the big uh, the big guns here with the sparky and the uh, and the skeleton king here i still can't tell how exactly i'm supposed to play him because he seems like a tank but his movement speed isn't actually all that fast so i'm actually just gonna spawn the skeletons in like now uh and then I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spam like a rage spell here or something oh my dude, bro the skeleton king the skeleton king actually has like no hp dude what the heck what the heck is this i'm getting scammed i'm getting scammed here Oh my god, and he used the ability, dude. Oh, that's so... Oh my god. <laughs> dude, he's like... He already knows how to use all these heroes so well. What the heck? Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna have to E-Wiz onto the hog. We don't have a hard stop to the hog rider here. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks like he's running 2.6 with the uh, the Archer Queen, which is actually working out very, very well for him. Um, so let's... Let's just, let's just try our best here, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna fireball this out of the way. Uh, yeah, looks like he's definitely going to try to cycle to a second fireball here, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, oh, see, I, didn't, I don't know if I can win this one, dude. Uh, I guess I'll just have to start cycling the king in the back here. Um, let's see. Oh, but do all dead units go to the skeleton king? Oh, dude, all the dead units go to the skeleton king. Okay, I see what it means. Okay, so now we're building up all these units. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess Dark Prince here. Uh, I'll rage and then use the ability here. And uh, hopefully this will work out in our favor. I'm going to fireball this. Oh, look at all these skeletons. Oh my god, dude, the skeletons. Oh my god, that got so much damage, dude. Okay, all right. Things are things are heating up again. Things are heating up again. So it looks like you just have to get the skeleton king down. Oh god, all oh, the hogs didn't get a hit. Okay, all right. This is going to be close here. Um, oh gosh. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go with the mega minion here. Oh, he's back to the hog. Good game, dude. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. We got we got time for one last push. One last push here. Let's go in with the Dark Prince. Let's go in with the Skeleton King ability here. And uh, I guess we got to go in with the Rage as well. But oh my god, dude. All the skeletons are dead. Well played. I think I'm getting the hang of this a little bit more. But yeah, there's so much new gameplay that comes with these heroes. 
and we're running a quick wall breaker cycle deck here with the archer queen now from what i can tell the archer queen has insanely high damage so we're going to try and utilize that to our advantage here in this match. I want to start off, let's just play the Archer Queen. Why not? Um, it's the new card, I might as well play it. And um, I shall find out how good she actually is. Uh, I guess I'll have to tank for the Archer Queen. Uh, and then we'll go in with a little bit of a push here. Um, and I guess we'll utilize some of the high DPS here. Um, oh, and the, uh, the the Golden Knight's Charge actually doesn't kill the... Um, doesn't kill the wall breakers which is quite interesting anyways archer queen coming down here in the back let's see if we can use some of her um let's, let's use her invisibility thing um because she deals like a crap ton of damage here oh dude but just look at that dude the uh the ram rider just got completely disintegrated bro um and i guess oh and the ability is already charged up again so i can use it again dude okay so we're gonna use the ability here uh i guess i i guess i'm activating it way too early here um yeah i'm definitely activating it way too early let's just go ahead and log here and uh, unfortunately i oh my gosh and it actually just like charges forward to the uh, the golden knight there um so 60 seconds left here i'm doing pretty well uh okay well <laughs> he goes in with a magic archer there uh, i guess i'll follow up with some wall breakers here um, but yeah, this match should pretty much be wrapped up here, um, unless, of course, oh, he has a Ram Rider. Uh, Alright, Archer Queen, please be clutch. Archer Queen, please be clutch. Turn invisible, please. Thank you. Alright, now we're gonna log you back. Um, that didn't work. Uh, that didn't work. Oh my god, dude, the Skeleton Knight does so much damage when he's raged up. Uh, we're gonna, uh, this is probably gonna be a two-tower game here, so we're just gonna pressure the opposite lane here. Uh, let's try and tank for the, uh, Archer Queen a little bit here. Um... Let's see here. Bomb tower down, I guess. Uh, we're going to log out the Barbarian. We're going to force him to spend Elixir to take that tower while we pressure the opposite lane here. Um, oh, but he's got that. Uh, I guess I'll have to go in with this. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, are we, are we going to hold on? Are we going to hold on? Dude, okay. All right. Okay, he actually used the Golden Knight pretty well there. Um, I'm actually surprised at how effective that knight was. Alrighty, so I'm going to take a page out of Clash Arts book, and I'm going to be running a bridge band deck as well, but this time I'm going to be trying the Dashing Knight. Hopefully I can use some of his uh, his quick dash abilities to get some nice connections onto the tower. So, alright, should I actually, should I try this? Uh, can I just do this and use the ability like immediately? Uh, okay, well that that actually didn't work out well at all. Um, but hey, it takes it almost takes down the witch, so you know what? I'll take it. And ooh, it looks like it's my guy's time to run the skeleton king here. Um, I got an inferno dragon. I'm gonna play it up high, but this is really risky. The skeleton, uh, the skeleton uh, giant actually isn't as tanky here as I thought it would be. So I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. Oh, and he uses the ability. Okay. Um, let's see here. All right, we're gonna go in here with the Ram Rider here as a quick little counter push. See if he has anything for that. Oh, but of course he has the Fisherman, dude. We're still gonna get a good amount of damage here, but uh, oh, and he's gonna get a King activation. Ah, well played, well played. Bandit down counters the Royal Ghost. Let's go ahead, apply some double lane pressure here, uh, which I guess isn't really double lane pressure since the Witch will counter the Bandit. Um, hmm. I might counter this i think oh gosh um i think i'm gonna have to go in with like a bar barrel here and then a fireball to kill this and then i'm just gonna have to go in with the lumberjack the skeleton king actually seems kind of weak here but either that or none of us just actually know how to use him uh which is probably the case here um but yeah let's go ahead just apply some pressure in the opposite lane uh, i'll go ahead and kite the mega minion as well let's go ahead and use the knight um I'll use the dashing ability. Oh, that was kind of useless. Um, I guess I don't know how to use the dash ability yet. Um, okay, but we should be able to just fireball this out of the way. The witch, I think. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, the skeleton king seems really, really weak. Um, okay, and oh, good. Oh, God, the graveyard's coming in here. Um, oh, he's got like double graveyard, bro. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not to actually fireball this, I think. Um, oh, no. Oh, and he's got the freeze. Oh god, we're taking so much damage here. Oh god, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so let's go in with this here. Um, I'm gonna try and use the ability here, but that... I don't know how to use this ability, bro. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, so let's see here. I guess another one of these. I got an Inferno Dragon this out of the way. Uh, oh god, he's... Okay, he's using his ability here. Oh, and he has the freeze! Oh no! 
Oh God. Okay. Well, well. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. That was that was some creative use of the skeleton king. I'll say that for sure.